you know, once your child works hard in practice, he's starting to understand the sport, he's, he's getting better. Yeah. He or she wants to challenge themselves, especially when they get forfeits during dual meets. And, yeah. You know, they wrestle four or five days a week to get their hand raised for yeah. really nothing. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it helps the team. It's not the point of what we're doing, right? You yeah. work so hard all week long. The, the reward is you get to actually showcase what you've yeah. learned and how good you're getting. So, In yeah. front of a jam-packed gym. Yeah. It's a, it's a little disappointing, I would say, but we can only control so much. That's why our goal is always to have a full lineup. Our emphasis here is always about improvement. So even if the end result isn't a win, mm -hmm. um, we are seeing uh, overall, collectively, all of our kids are getting better. Yeah. A lot of these programs that we wrestle, they don't always have uh, a full lineup. Mm -hmm. The ones that do, we are super appreciative of, and we love going against them and being challenged. But the ones that don't, you know, we 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 understand that dynamic too because they're building it. Uh, they're trying too. to, yeah. yeah. And and there are teams that we wrestle um, year to year that, unfortunately, that's their story. But there are other teams that are consistently strong, and uh, it's good. Good opportunity. It's also a good opportunity for kids that don't wrestle mm -hmm. all the time to get matches too. So there's different types of wrestling matches going on throughout the season. Right. You got the dual meets, the travel team, and you have tournaments, and then you have wrestle fests. Yes. So they all have different types of rules. I, I feel like you almost have to wrestle different style depending on what you're doing. Yeah. So like the difference between suburban league and the twin county league is. You're probably going to have a different level of competition, mm -hmm. but not always. Time is different. So a suburban match is 30 seconds less than a Twin County match. Mm -hmm. Suburban matches are one, one and a half, one and a half. Uh -huh. Twin Counties are one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. Then you go to WrestleFest. WrestleFest straight through for every age level is a one, 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 which is a much quick, quicker match. Fast, yeah. You've got to get your get points. Down. Yeah, you got to get your points early. Uh, you got to hold on to points. You can't be uh, sloppy because you, if you give up away a big move, it, you may be in the hole and very hard to, to climb out of that hole. That said, there's a value to it too because it teaches kids, you know, that time is of the essence, right? That's a life thing, right? Can't you wait around looking for a good shot. Right. And you got to make sure that whatever you're doing is full of purpose, mm -hmm. full of intensity, and you're doing it within the, the parameters of the time because... If you don't, you might be out of luck or you might be in overtime. Or And for our younger kids, these are better matches because they don't really need a long time out there. But for our older kids that are used to wrestling travel, it's a big step back. So you're talking about about a minute and a half to a minute less of a match. So you really have to be cautious when you, when you wrestle and not make a foolish yeah. error because it could cost you. One of the benefits of the WrestleFest, or at least one of the reasons why we were attracted to the Twin County, was first off, you have 52, 53 teams there. Mm -hmm. So a lot more competition, a lot more chances to wrestle. It's very organized. Mm -hmm. um, there's one of these wrestle fests every weekend. We don't do all of them. We only do five out of the six, and that's mainly because we run our own tournament. And I feel like for people to give up their whole entire weekend for wrestling, it should be more of an individual choice as opposed to a group program choice. Yeah. But at the same time, when we do these wrestle fests, they're building a little unity within our program because otherwise we are kind of segmented. We have our novice, we have our suburban, we have our Twin County. By doing this, we're all on the same team. The younger kids look up to the older kids. It's kind of cool for the older kids because they have like, you know, a second, third grader who's looking at them like they're seventh, eighth grade. Like they're this, you know, big older kid that's like, like a celebrity. You know, they are, yeah, they're kind of like a celebrity. <laughs> so it's cool for them and, and it's nice. It builds unity within the program. But there are stipulations on it too because if you want to wrestle in the districts, you have to go to three out of the six. Mm -hmm. Because we only do five, it, it crunches a little yeah. bit too. But the goal is to get to three. That way you can wrestle in your district. And then top two in the district, go to the region. And then after region, there's no correlation like in high school where region go goes straight to, to states. states. It's if you go to state qualifier and you qualify, then you go to state. So they're not connected. So you don't have to do a district in order to do a state. Absolutely not. You just do your district just as, uh, as maybe one of the last things you do as a team. Yep. Uh, another wrestling opportunity, maybe you get a match or two, maybe you get three, depending on your weight class. Uh, and then if you qualify, you go on to the region. And that same kind of thing. Region is just another time to wrestle. Mm -hmm. And then essentially for most of our kids at that point, the season is over. For our elite kids, kids that are being challenged by going to the state qualifiers, they have another two weeks after that. And that's fine too. Yeah.